the fastest land animal on Earth. It's a title that thousands of species have competed for for millions of years. But only a lucky few have ever gotten the record. The fastest animals have had to adapt over the ages, optimizing for their agility. And the few animals that have held the record have had to work hard to keep that position. Each one has had to focus their evolution on speed, so all of them have had to stay determined. And after millions of years, certain animals have come out on top. This is the history of the world's fastest animal. Life first began about 4 billion years ago, but it wasn't until about half a billion years ago that animals first evolved. However, these animals swam in the ocean, so the record wasn't made until the emergence of the first animals on land about 420 million years ago. The first animals on land are believed to have been arthropods like centipedes or millipedes. They developed simple ways of breathing on land by breathing through small holes in their bodies. And as the first land animals, they were able to feast on plants without having to worry about predators. But these animals were not very fast at all due to their many legs. As you can imagine, their primitive anatomy also slowed them down. They had weak respiratory systems that did not allow them to use much energy. So they were probably as slow or slower than their modern counterparts. It's unclear just how fast they went due to a lack of scientific evidence, but they were the first to go on land, which makes them the first one to get the record. After this record, a major discovery was made by some vertebrates. Water-breathing creatures could go up on land and get some food. And after a while, they developed simple lungs to stay on land. These would come to be known as amphibians. These creatures also stayed in water, but the land was abundant with food. And being the first vertebrates on land came with many benefits, as the land provided safety along with everything they needed to eat. But they weren't very fast either, because they just used primitive limbs to push themselves. Their bodies were adapted for swimming, and going on land was not their primary concern. But they did effectively move on land, which was very rare at the time. They were definitely very slow because they were not really meant for walking, but it's possible that they also may have gotten the record by just being one of the first animals on land. After those records, the recorded history becomes a bit more obvious especially with a huge new change to record attempts. The emergence of amniotes, a group which comprises a lot of the animals we think of today, reptiles, birds, and eventually mammals. However, the fastest of these at the time was the Dimetrodon. These were huge predators on land, and they were dominant. They had large spine sails on their backs, large tails, and sharp teeth. Their long tails allowed them to balance while they were running, so they did not have to worry about falling over. This allowed them to go even faster while also being safe. They lived in open environments where they were free to run, and in wide open spaces, they adapted to be fast to catch food. And they were the apex predator of their time. They killed using their speed, so it was vital for them to be fast. They ran incredibly quickly to catch their prey, and about 300 million years ago, they claimed the record. However, it certainly wasn't perfect. Dimetrodons were large and bulky. If they adapted to be more lean and agile, they could have gone much faster. The giant sail that they had on their back also added weight to their bodies, and its large surface area made it easily slowed down by wind. But after this record, a calamity swept the Earth. The Great Dying. The largest extinction event in Earth's history. It killed around 90% of all species on the planet. This forced every record contender out of contention and a new wave of animals enter the competition, in a period called the Triassic.
The Triassic was the period of rebuilding for the Earth's ecosystem, and as a result, millions of new species emerged. But one animal stuck out, the Coelophysis, a small but agile carnivore. They had long and aerodynamic bodies and they ran on two legs, perfect for hunting small creatures and running from huge predators. They were also excellent hunters. They feasted on insects and small lizards, and they had limbs to grab their prey with. They also adapted to be quite lightweight, being around 40 to 60 pounds. And with hollow bones, they were weighed down even less. And they claimed the record about 200 million years ago, but no record is perfect. They were not the most powerful creatures, and if they had stronger legs that were adapted to running, they would have been even faster. After the Triassic, the record enters the most famous period in history, the Jurassic and it saw the rise of unbelievable animals. Dinosaurs were the rulers of the land and small animals were developing. But out of all of these animals, one was fastest, the Ornitholestes. These were smaller dinosaurs that were slim. They were carnivores with slender arms and legs, which made them perfect for running. These creatures are estimated to have ran at up to 40 miles per hour, and they were excellent hunters who ate small mammals and lizards. Ornitholestes were flexible and able to easily move their limbs while running, and they got the record about 150 million years ago. The Cretaceous periods are some of the craziest dinosaurs of all time. The Earth was flourishing with life, with warm temperatures that allowed many animals to develop throughout the world. Many animals were incredibly agile, and the competition for the record was intense. And the animal that came out on top was the Gallimimus. These were large dinosaurs who had long and tall bodies, and they were incredibly fast. They had long legs that were muscular, which allowed them to push off the ground with force and quickly pick up speed. These creatures were designed to escape dangerous predators which reigned the earth at the time. They were a bit larger than some of the previous record holders, but their weight didn't slow them down too much. They also had long tails that helped them balance, and an aerodynamic body shape that gave them even more speed. These creatures claimed the record about 70 million years ago, but dinosaurs had been absolutely destroying the competition for millions of years. And right when it seemed like they couldn't be stopped, Something would change the world forever. The end of the dinosaurs, and the rise of the mammals. And one of these mammals was the Eohippus, an ancient relative of the horse. But these are not the horses we think of today. They were a little smaller and had thick necks, however, they were fast. They adapted to be able to run away quickly from potential predators, and they had hooves that were adapted to quickly sprint. They had long legs that allowed them to travel further with each step, and they were masters of conserving their energy, meaning they could use less energy to run farther and faster than other animals. Horses in general also have strong muscular and circulatory systems, which are very important when it comes to speed. It's estimated that these creatures were able to run at up to 45 or 50 miles per hour at max speed, making them one of the fastest animals. The Eohippus claimed the record for the fastest animal about 50 million years ago, which brings us to the modern day, where the fastest animal of all time has emerged and still exists, the cheetah.
Cheetahs are cats who live out in wide open plains. They have adapted specifically to running, so they can chase down and kill their prey who are slower than them. They stay dormant for most of the day, but when it's time for hunting, they run, and they run fast. Their legs are incredibly powerful with strong muscles that allow them to push off the ground, while their claws allow them to dig into the ground and accelerate quickly. These claws are very important for why they are so fast. They act sort of like cleats that give them more traction on land, and their heart, lungs, and blood are specifically designed to give them an advantage in running. They are able to breathe large amounts of oxygen, which they need to fuel themselves while running. These cats have absolutely destroyed every previous record since they can run at up to 70 miles per hour making them the fastest animal in history. And that is where the record stands today. But who knows what the future could hold? Record attempts are always changing. And today there are more changes than ever with the emergence of humans. Perhaps there will one day be a faster animal, but we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, see you later.